is. Hello, you look very happy. How are you? I'm very good, mate. How are you? Good, good. This is what we need. Always smiling. Yeah. See him smiling on the <laughs> yeah. Right. See? All right, where do you want to stick it? Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. In front of me. In the morning. I uh, had a lie in because yesterday I was up at 4 a.m. the day before. 4 a.m. Day before that, 5 a.m. I think. I don't know. So it's always 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning I get up. Uh, today is a day off. It's Friday. It's my day off. I've taken a long weekend because we're going to head down to uh, to Devon to uh, a wonderful place. We wanted to go for a long time. Um, Ifricom. Woolacom uh, is Ifricom, and then you've got Woolacom Beach, so uh, Devon, that's where we're heading, it's four hours away, we're going to do it because we've got three days to play with, uh, Mel's going to be home about 11 o'clock, and then we've got to prep the van and just get the hell out of town, because we've got a, a lovely little campsite down there, um, but you may have noticed, put on a little bit of a uh, little chub over the last sort of seven weeks on that job, uh, I was on Matilda, the new remake of Matilda, and uh, I was quite literally just doing nothing on a back lot for, for seven weeks, you know, and I was coming home at the weekends as well, and because it was so regular, I was, uh, I was coming home and I was, you know, having a few drinks and eating, and yeah, that's how you get fat, it really is, you know, low activity, no training, uh, eat, yeah, normally, but as soon as you add booze in, that's where the extra calories come from, that's where the fat comes from. So yeah, I haven't had a, a drink of any description, not even a mouthful of Prosecco or anything for what must be four weeks now, three, three weeks, three, no, four weeks, yeah, four weeks, and um, already feeling so much better. Um, yeah, and uh, I've started doing the uh, the training in the morning, so doing the cardio now in the morning. First thing in the morning, completely fasted. Uh, woke up a little bit later today, because it's my day off, uh, so I am absolutely famished, because uh, I've been sleeping longer and haven't had anything to eat for that extra amount of time. So um, yeah, this is gonna be fasted cardio, uh, had a mouthful of water that's it yeah so that's it got to do the uh, cardio and then i'm gonna get ready and we're gonna hit the road once mel's back okay so this is what we've been doing 60 minutes of pure cardio fasted cardio uh, 20 miles an hour oh sorry 10k we're doing uh, we've covered 20 almost 20 kilometers uh, calories burned are 300 calories burned, probably more, because, you know, how does this thing really know? Uh, and the odometer is now at 109.6. All right, time for a smooth. We are getting prepped again to hit the road, so we got all the bits. We're going for an extra day, so we're going Friday till Sunday. Uh, the time now is, what time? Is it? It's half, coming up to half 11. Yeah, so we're just sorting out coffees and making sandwiches for the road because it's a four hour journey. A few little treats, a few crisps, nice uh, cider, vinegar, and sea salt. That is amazing, they are great. So yeah, just getting everything ready to hit the road. Mmm, bit pissed off. I've just been phoned up. I was supposed to get a home testing kit for COVID. Yeah, you know, test for something that doesn't exist. Um, and now, because I start this new task on Monday, I gotta fucking get a fucking stupid test between now and Monday. So yeah, I've got to go and get a test now before I uh, fucking drive to Devon. Anyway, it's not all bad because uh, they're actually paying me to get the test done uh, because they should have sent me a home test. Um, but now I've got to do it en route to Devon, so I'm going down to Heath Road to do it. Uh, it's like a drive-through center. I'll, you'll see in the footage, I'll film it. Um, but yeah, they are actually paying me to do it, so uh, they're compensating me because they screwed up. So uh, effectively, this whole weekend is paid for by their screw up. So always look for the positive, yeah? Turn the negative 
into a positive. It doesn't matter how pissed off you are. There's always a positive to be found and there's always something to be found. All right, we are packed. The van is packed. Now I've got to go and get a stupid COVID test that's paying for the weekend. Wonderful. <laughs> it's not bad, is it? Every cloud. Wow, it is warm. Already sweaty. Mel's already hungry. All right, so we are in the van. Still waiting to hear back on this stupid test, but uh, oh. well, we're going. I'm not letting it spoil my fucking holiday. My little breakaway. All right. So ready? I am ready. She's Shall ready. we go? She's ready. All right, we're at Heathrow. This is where the drive-in test center is. So yeah, we're just at Heath. Continue on Northern Perimeter Road West for half a mile. Trying to find this test center. So it's just up the road. And it's a rapid test center, so it shouldn't take too long. <laughs> if it's got rapid in its name. Yeah, I wish I was going on a plane. But we're going in the van. Hello. Your phone call? A test. Yeah, and if you check a QR code, sir. If you what? The QR code. Okay. That's a reference number. Alright. Yeah, drive down this way. Yeah. Down there? Yeah, and then the left. Down there, that's no down entry. Down here, right and the left. Down here, sir. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Well that says no entry. <laughs> yeah? You see that? No entry? It's okay though. Yeah, she said it's okay. She don't even know what I'm fucking talking about. No, because she's uh, she doesn't drive. Yeah, she's just confused. Hello. Hello. Can I get the QR code, please? I haven't got one, but I got a, a reference number. I'll show you that. Look, there it is. Okay, and you got your ID, yeah? I got some ID, yes. You got your ID? Uh, yeah. Okay. Are you? Are you CIA? One of them. Go ahead. And uh, where am I going? Where they test you? They test you in the van. Oh! Yeah, I thought you had to it. get off. What am I doing here? I hope you get off. Yeah, look, a lot of people standing around getting paid for fucking nothing. Ah, you just go there. Oh, good. A little bit hard. That's all I can show me. Oh, so I can see you. Hello, mate. Yeah, I'm wonderful. Yeah, can you QR code? I, How many people have you got? Just me, mate. Okay. Yeah, I haven't got a QR code. I've got a, that. Okay. They sent me. Do we do it in the van or do we get out? They just stay in the van. Yeah. CPT okay. 270. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And it's test only. Yes. What else do you do? Uh, fit to fly? Oh no. Okay. No. Just test me. Have to edit that. Where are you from? What do you mean? It does sound like a Dutch name. Oh, it's a Dutch <laughs> name, yeah, but I'm born and bred British, mate. All British, the way. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> they, I want 10% of if they, they pay you with this. Uh, Am I in thing? <laughs> here he, oh, here he is. Hello, you look very happy. How are you? I'm very good, mate. How are you? Good, good. This is what we need. Always smiling. Yeah. See him smiling a little bit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. See? All right, where do you want to stick it? Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. In front of me. <laughs> okay, have you guys been here before? I've not been here. I've had plenty of these, haven't I? Ben's had plenty of these. <laughs> Every week. No, Bless you. Yeah. All right, so I'll just explain now because it might be slightly different. So I'm going to do five seconds back of the phone <gasps> each yeah. side, ten seconds just in one nostril. Um, it's not designed to hurt at all, but if it does, just raise your hand straight away and I'll pause. I'll, I'll do more okay. than raise my hand. Scream, yeah. <laughs> top of your voice. Right. Okay, I'm um, also going to count down as well, just so you know roughly when they're going to finish. All right, mm -hmm. any questions? No, no, go on. Brilliant. You've got no injuries or anything? No, not yet, and let's hope you're Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right, I'll just stand back. Yeah. <laughs> okay, mate, so when you're ready, nice and wide. Perfect. Okay, so five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant. And same again on the other side. 
Okay, so five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, is that professional? <laughs> yeah. Okay, nice tickly nose time. Okay. Okay, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There you go, mate. There you go. All right. All right, good. Okay, wonderful. So you're going to get the results before 10 p.m. tomorrow evening. That's going to include your fit to fly certificate as well. Okay. Probably I'm best practice if you print it out so you've got I'm it. Not, I'm not flying it. anyway. Oh, you're not no, flying? No, this is for work. Take all that back then. Yeah. <laughs> You'll get the result tomorrow by 10 p.m. Okay, mate. Okay. Thank you. All Cheers. Right, guys. Say Take bye. Care. Bye. 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 <laughs> okay, so that took exactly 20 minutes to uh, out of our journey time. Uh, to get off the M4, go to Heathrow, it was a drive-in test centre as you've just seen, uh, had a bit of fun, <laughs> and uh, now we're back on the road, and it took exactly 20 minutes, uh, and for that I've been paid 10 hours, which is pretty good, so like I say, always look for the positives, you know, turn every negative into a positive, at first I thought it was going to be a, a real pain in the ass, but it was actually very very rewarding so now it's time to put the hammer down and head to uh, Woolacom which is Devon all right let's do it uh, so we got a report of a you know, obstruction in the road and looking at this where is it yeah, it looks like looks like there's a car broken down somewhere on the road or probably crashed into someone hasn't maintained his vehicle, can't drive, something's to blame. Uh, so what's it going to be? We've got the police cars out there. Over there. Is it going to be a broken down car or a smashed up car? It's going to be someone who hasn't maintained their vehicle or someone who can't drive their vehicle. Let's see. Well, there's only one car. Yeah, it looks like oh, that. There's two, there's a van as well. Oh, let's have a look. Oh shit, there's like five vehicles, six vehicles involved. Six vehicles pulled over seven. Christ, what's going on here? Look, that, the van's got a flat tire. Oh fuck, yeah, it's been a pile up. Yeah, a load of idiots all at once. Oh yeah, yeah, they're smashed to pieces, Jesus. Oh yeah, we Alright, so five or six idiots in one place at one time causes a big accident. Anyway, we're on the road, we're on the move. So what's it going to be? We've got the police cars out there. Over there. <sighs> well, we just got absolutely raped for about two hours on the motorway absolutely the worst traffic ever and we've still got another two hours so I've been traveling the time's now five o'clock we've been traveling since one yeah we had a 20 minute pit stop to get my test but yeah just got absolutely fucking ass raped for two hours on the motorway just crawling along so we stopped off in some shithole service station <laughs> where everyone is fucked Mm. I mean everyone, you go in the toilets, everyone's moaning because they've just been sitting in traffic for hours. So um, yeah, it's quite funny, but yeah, it's a real shit hole. I don't know what one it is, but yeah, it's not the best. And every kind of scumbags here. But anyway, just ordered some uh, coffee. I didn't want to make my own, couldn't be asked. wanted to stretch my legs and some uh, little wafers very nice so yeah we're just gonna have a little pit stop here and uh, just stretch out a bit and then uh, get back on the road for the rest of the journey <sighs> fun and games but it'd be good when we get there all right so we had to come through some weird eerie creepy horror film fog <laughs> but we are here and my legs are dead. Oh, hang on. Uh, 
Lake, so yeah, we are here. What's it called? Lee. Wow, what a, what a strange smell. This is the smell in the island where I live. Go for my bag there, babe. It's got all my drone stuff in it and everything. Is that a fire that's caused all this smoke or? I think that's smoke. There's a big fire somewhere. No, 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 no. <sighs> hey, that's nice. Look, quiet times. Look, 11 p.m. till 8 a.m. So no parties, no bullshit, no radios, no music. That's good. Yeah, go. You can go and have a look, babe. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll check so. in. I like this guy set up here. Yeah. Yeah. I like that set up because we were looking at these Jeep Renegades, and to have the the old camp, uh, the old tent on top. That's pretty cool. It's a nice little setup. Then. All right. So we've chosen our spot, and this is like a a sea mist that's come in. And that look tomorrow. It's going to be beautiful and glorious. So for now, we've got to just set up base camp. All right, so we're kind of set up as much as we can. Mel's made us all very comfortable already. A little bit of wine and crisps. Not getting the awning out because it's a bit too windy at the minute. So. And then we've got a weird sort of horror film sea mist going on. But what I am going to do is set up the... Uh, yeah. What I'm going to do is set up the uh, the barbecue. Now that's the barbecue I bought yesterday, and it's so good. I think I can actually set it up in 22 seconds. So we're going to time it. Mel's going to film it, and we're going to see if I can get it yep. in 22 seconds. I'm going to set the uh, stopwatch. Is that stopwatch? Press that, and I begin. So let's try and go for 22 seconds. Mm -hmm. That's how quick this thing sets up. So, ready? Three, two, one, go. Eighteen seconds. <laughs> Eighteen seconds. And it's ready. Yeah, hey, hey. Eighteen seconds. We have a barbecue ready. Eighteen seconds to set up a barbecue. How good is that? So I've got matches. Got a lighter. But I'm going to use the uh, fire steel because we're going SAS survival mode. <laughs> Properly set up. Mel's seeking shelter. It's actually started raining because of that mist. A little bit of drizzle from the mist, which is a bit annoying, but uh, that's what happens when you go camping. Yeah, so we've got the awning out. Mel's tucked up under there. Got the uh, 
Got the, the old grill going. Safekeeping. <laughs> I'm gonna save it to my own. What? She said, poor one, why are you not helping him? I don't know anything. He said it's his world, so we gotta do it. <laughs> when we are home, it's my world. Yep, yeah, yeah. So. Gotta have onions on your, on your hot dogs. So it's uh, 9.24, it's quite misty, it's a little bit cold, you can see behind me, quite misty, so yeah that's, yeah that's fine, we've just had some food, we set up base camp and everything, so, so yeah now we're you know making the bed up, Mel's gone to get some uh, well, wash up and get herself sorted out for bed, brush the teeth and all that, have a little shower. And uh, yeah, we are set up, ready to hit the hay. Now, that's a good thing about camping. It makes you go to bed early and rise early as well, which I do anyway. I'm up at four o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the morning, doing cardio <laughs> now. Uh, yeah, it's tough. But, you know, it's the only way to get fat off. But anyway, so yeah, that's, uh, that's the camping sort of outdoor lifestyle. You wake up early, you go to bed early. Which isn't bad. I'm pretty tired after the five hour journey and uh, all that traffic. So yeah, I'm just going to go wait till Mel gets back and then head over to the shower block myself and uh, get sorted out and hit the hay. So yeah, it's the end of our first day here. Tomorrow we're going to uh, go down to the beach. It's about two, three miles away. Uh, we like walking, so um, we are going to be uh, heading down there on foot, take the drone, take all the kit with us, and uh, see what the day brings. But uh, yeah, Woolacombe Beach is beautiful, so um, yeah, we're going to head there tomorrow. And then the next day, we'll probably head down to if Ifricombe, which is a huge, uh, well, not huge, it's a little sort of uh, harbour and everything and it's really picturesque as well but yeah so one last look around the camp and then we'll be in bed so we can't get the drone up that's for sure a couple of bikers over there there's another bike sort of way over on the other side of that sort of little field there so yeah, cool. Back to nature. And we all like a bit of that, don't we? We're seeing a lot of uh, water. It's hot water for me because they use it many times. What's it's, that? It's very clean there. That's good. We're heading over to that light. <laughs> Got my shower bag. Oh, my toiletry bag. All right, so fresh from the shower. So now we're going out. Just walking back. In bed already. All right, so it's uh, ten o'clock and uh, Time to bed.
What? Chimney. It's five o'clock in the morning. Is everything all right out there? All the stuff? Yeah. Is the awning okay? Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Breakfast in a box. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so the breakfast in the box, like the. Yes, like English. Yeah, yeah, like it. Yeah. yeah. Where are we sitting? I'm sorry. Huh? Would you like a hit of a black one? Uh, okay. Yeah. Right, so we've got our, our meal. Let's have a look. Go on, let's open it up. Oh, oh wow. So hygiene. What is that? Oh, that's, the, that's yours, that one. Yeah. Adobo. Adobo? <laughs> I heard that too. And here's mine. Oh yeah. <laughs> the drama of the wind blowing a, a napkin. Look at that. That's how we do it on a campsite. How's that looking, boo? -boo? Yeah. Good. Look at the enthusiasm. All, All right, right, so I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, I was looking forward to my breakfast, but. Um, Greasy shit is all I can say. Uh, I've eaten my egg and my beans. Um, picked around the bacon to just get the fat off and eat the good stuff. Um, but we had a couple of sausages and they were just disgusting. We 
ah, couldn't eat them. Mel couldn't eat the hash browns. The hash browns I, I managed to get down, they were really greasy, deep fried, you know, not put in the oven or anything. It's so simple to make a breakfast nice, and uh, it's easy to make it not nice. So, this is what's left. That's all the sausages we tried to find a good bit. You know, the mushrooms haven't been touched. The uh, hash browns so haven't been touched. The eggs been eaten. The bacon's still there. I ate a bit more. Some of the beans, the egg. Um, but my sausages, I couldn't eat. They were just vile. And uh, yeah, not impressed. Coffee, don't know. It's got skin on there, so it's full, full cream, sort of milk, normal milk. Um, but yeah, just, just not impressed. Not a good, not a good start to the day, really. So out of ten, I'd have to yeah, give it. Mills trying to live out her Instagram <laughs> fantasies. Anyway, so we left the van there, and we are going to walk to Lee Beach, and then. Ifricom, apparently. Okay, so we are going on a bit of a trek, bit of a journey, bit of a walk. Um, we're going to Lee Beach, and then we're going to try to walk to Ifricom, and Ifricom, and back. So if we get to Lee Beach, Ifricom, and then get back here, then uh, that's well over 10 miles. So let's see if we can do it. It's a long lot of walking up, up and down. It's quite a steep hill involved so let's see if we can get it done that's today's mission hi babe <laughs> this is a long walk. They said that it's that direction, so we've just come into a field and we're walking. <laughs> and we're going to see if we can actually walk straight to it as the crow flies. So, we're going to see what what uh, obstacles we encounter but we're going into this little forest now <laughs> so who knows what we're gonna find hopefully we don't get shot by a farmer get off my land but uh yeah we're gonna see what happens hopefully there's no bulls in here or wild animals that are gonna attack us like that but uh you know this is what it's all about right adventure Yeah, so we're actually walking as the crow flies. And, uh, you know, there should have been a big, a big path that we follow right around. But we've chosen not to, and we're walking in the direction of the beach that we want to get to. And uh, we're just hoping we can get there. I'm actually seeing a fence now. So we've climbed into a, a field and we're hoping that we can get there, like I say, directly. And <laughs> that was way back there. And we're hoping that no farmer starts shooting at us and there's no wild animals like bulls or something that are going to attack us. But uh, yeah, we're trying to get there as the crow flies. Uh, yeah, there's a big fence that runs all along there. It ends here. And it seems like there's some pathways. Maybe animals have gone through there or other people. I don't know. But we're going in that direction. Yeah, there's a fence. I know, but it ends here and there's a path. So we're going to go down the path. <laughs> this, is, this is real adventure. This is adventure. So let's, uh, let's get under these trees and see if we can follow the path in. <laughs> Watch out, yeah, because there's some brambles and stuff here. Christ, come on. You wanted adventure. I'm going to give you adventure. <laughs> oh, Christ. We... No, we can't get through, babe. 
see we can see people have climbed over here there down there because the beach is in that direction yeah all right i'm going to stamp careful with this this is barbed wire look so don't no i was thinking it might be electric Yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, I'm trying to fucking flatten it down. Christ. Alright. <laughs> yeah, nice romantic walk. <laughs> Go on, baby, you can do it. There you go. Watch that stick there, that's a that's a one there, that's it. Right, we can get we just work. We can, we can get over here. Watch it with the feet. Huh? Are we going there? Are we sure? Yeah yeah, I think so. Babe, where's the mark? <laughs> Hang on. Let's yeah, get just over this razor wire. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Oh God, be careful. That's a good sign. Yeah. So we got a path here. It seems like animals come down here. This is where my tracking skills come in. Huh. <laughs> See, when I was in the powder wars in Vietnam, working for the Clintons, you know, this is what we used to do. Oh my God. <laughs> We're going all the way down. Huh? <laughs> Nature lady. Nature girl. Oh, there's a real there's a real path here. Oh. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, so where where'd this path come? Where did this path come from? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? What am I right about? Yeah. I don't know. Something, something comes down here. Maybe tractors. Or... But look at this forest. Beautiful. We are in. We are in. <laughs> It's raining, babe. It's ra <laughs> oh yeah. So I, for the van, I want to get. There's a few things I need to add to the van. Um, a privacy room, so like sides to the awning, so make a room out of the awning. And uh, the next thing I'm buying though is uh, it's going to be roof bars and a roof box, just to put all the camping crap in, yeah. All the chairs, the tables, barbecue, all that crap can go in the roof box, yeah? So I uh, just freeze up space in the van and uh, camping stuff gets dirty and that, so it's good in the van, uh, in the roof box. Uh, as well as a privacy room, I want the roof box first. I want to put a, a trailer. I want to put a trailer on the bike. Oh, sorry. I want to put a trailer for the bike. I want to, sorry, to sound a, a path. Do we go down there? Okay, There's a path. Oh yeah? Yeah, I don't Because the beach is, is, okay. Let's stick to this path. Yeah. Anyway, so for a, a, a camping trip like this, it'd be fantastic to have the bike with us, the motorbike. So the next plan was, to get the roof box and the roof bars. And then the second 
after that would be hooking up a trailer for the motorbike and a trailer hitch or a tow bar and um, Mel likes that idea she could ride along the coast visit all the different beaches and everything and it'll make everything perfect so we just found some stairs all right, so we've been walking along where is it that path found some steps that lead to this path and the beach is over that direction so the beach is right back sort of there and um, we're gonna walk through this ancient mystical forest <laughs> to get there down this newly found path all right let's do this come on we like adventures and we like walking cross country rambling we love it <laughs> look at oh there's steps look. This, this is where we're going look at this oh, fuck <laughs> film my own deck But be careful over here because they're a bit crap here. You know? I don't want anything to happen to my woman. I don't want to have to carry her back. <laughs> we'll get rear lifted out in a helicopter. It's the other side of these, this wood. It's in that direction, so I don't know how close we are. It seems close on the map. <laughs> this is crazy and awesome. <laughs> Be really careful, you should have your proper shoes on. I've got proper walking shoes on. Do not fall. <laughs> Look how steep this is. Oh my god. <laughs> huh? <laughs> There's more steps here. We're actually coming down. I didn't see them until I'm here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, you can lead the way and find the steps. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like a fucking mountain goat. I just, <laughs> I just go in a straight line. <laughs> forget paths, forget anything. Just go in a straight line. Like a bloody man mountain goat. Oh my God, this is cool. Look at this, wow, this is awesome, I mean this is really awesome, I love this, <laughs> wow, this is so cool, I'm just like a big kid, oh jeez. look at those titties, <laughs> All right. Yeah. There's a stream. Oh, it's a bridge. Wow, I found a little bridge <laughs> across the river. Otherwise, we would have been paddling and swimming across across the river. <laughs> Mel's happy. Wow, it looks so clear. You could drink that. Wow, that is crystal clear. That's cleaner than what comes out of your tap. Wow, maybe there's some gold. Do you think we could find some gold in there? <laughs> there's gold in them heels. Yeah, it's that way. There's even an arrow. <laughs> I think. I think little me. Oh, there's a signpost here. It's going to say to Lee Beach. Here we go. Yeah, this is cardio. <laughs> Walking through the through some, this isn't even a path, this is where the water flows. But it's going up and over where we wanna be. Hopefully there's a way down. My uh, hamstrings are 
killing me. <laughs> no, they're not killing me, but they're burning. Oh yeah. <sighs> Serious. Uphill. Hill climb. Serious hill climb. Way up top. My goodness. Yeah, the old glutes and the uh, hamstrings are starting to warm up big time. Ooh. Fucking hot, this pounding lungs are working. This is brilliant. Uh oh, she's rolling up the skirt, she means business. Just nature at its finest. And we still go all the way up there. 45 degree cross country. 45 degree plus incline for about over a mile. So I am sweating. The quads and the, the glutes are burning. The heart's been pounding and the lungs have been working. But the view up here is spectacular apparently. So let's see. Ah. Oh, she's going over. Look at that, like a real country girl. Ah. because we no I mean not crazy but it's crazy when you don't know where you're going and you don't know if you're going in the right direction you don't know what you're going to encounter yeah so it's crazy from that respect yeah you don't know if you're going to find a fence or <laughs> a forest or a park or anything yeah so just venturing into the unknown like a pioneer Adventure spirit. That's what it's all about. Right, babe? <laughs> <laughs> 